Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build video and another episode of Curb Appeal, the series on my channel where I recreate photographs in The Sims 4 to the best of my ability. So today's video is a very exciting one because the photo was submitted by one of you guys. So thank you so much, Sydney, for submitting this photo in the Discord for me to recreate. If you guys have any suggestions on photos you want me to recreate in Curb Appeal, feel free to post them in the Discord or or DM them to me on Twitter or Insta and stuff like that. I will say that I do get a ton, a ton of requests, so I'm so sorry, but I definitely can't recreate every single request, but just know that I do look at all of them and I do see them. So I will always look to you guys as like my main inspiration for this series. So there is a big chance that I will choose one of your photos. So definitely keep the inspo coming. I really appreciate it. So today's build is one of my, probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done, which is weird because I feel like lately I've been saying that a lot. Like every time I do a new build, I'm like, I think this is my favorite one, um, which I think is a good sign. It means that I'm you know, trying new things and it means that I'm improving on a personal level maybe, I'm not sure. But right off the bat you can see that the roofing is very interesting and just like the shape of the home in general is very interesting. So I was really drawn to that kind of curved wavy roof piece out at the front. I also really like how the entrance is kind of offset to the right. Usually when I build homes, I tend to make my front doors kind of in the middle of the home, which is weird because I don't think I intentionally try to do that. I just think I tend to gravitate towards homes that are maybe leaning more on the symmetrical side. I'm not really sure, but I don't usually do like an offset door I don't think so I like the asymmetry of it and I also like the fact that we had a garage and a driveway so overall just a very interesting looking home and something that posed a nice challenge for me to recreate as well but before we get into the video I do have a really exciting announcement I want to thank Hi Rise for sponsoring today's video I've actually played this game before, so I'm really excited to tell you guys about it. High Rise is an online life simulation game where you can design your dream avatar and dream home in the High Rise metaverse. Look at how cute my character is. There are over 40,000 unique items for designing your avatar in your own space. Like literally my brain cannot even fathom having that many items to choose from. You can design anything from a cozy cottage to cafes to karaoke bars. You can even have a super themed fairy room or a gamer room. Room. The possibilities are endless. You can honestly create your dream life. The fun part about High Rise is you can actually hang out in these rooms with real people. You can go to the nightclub and dance or you can chill at the pool party and meet up with some friends. You can also exchange rare collectible items and compete for epic prizes in weekly events and player made games. It really is a social first app built to support and inspire our creativity. Also, there's a winter gold sale happening right now where you can get 20% off gold. Use the link in the description and download High Rise today. I'll be hanging out in the nightclub, so come say hi to me and add me as a friend if you see me. So this style of home is the typical modern transitional home that I've been loving lately, you guys. I feel like transitional homes are the new modern farmhouse in my books because I had an era where I was super obsessed with modern farmhouses and don't get me wrong I still am but I feel like transitional is really speaking to me lately and if you guys don't know what it means it basically just is a transition if you will between traditional architecture and more modern architecture so you're still going to have those classic traditional silhouettes but you will see more modern touches they are you know, newer homes. It's not like a character home or anything like that. Um, they can be a new build, technically, um, but still have touches of more traditional looks. So I like that look of it being classic looking, but also new and modern because I like modern things. I like new things in general. So that's what I really loved about this home. And that's why I think it's one of my favorites. And just like the style in general is very trendy lately. I've been seeing a ton of this style on my Pinterest and stuff. So if you have any styles like this that you come across, definitely send them my way because I'm very likely probably going to use one of your suggestions if you send me a transitional home. And I honestly think that's why it's really hard for me to do a save file because I'm always like changing my style of building and jumping on the next 
trend of home that I like. I tend to like things that are more trendy, I guess, like when it comes to exteriors and interior design. I am very like into trends and like whatever I see on my Pinterest board, I'm very inspired by that. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, personally, I don't think it's like a bad thing to like trends in general. Like I've always been someone that likes to follow trends and I'm not like necessarily in the lane of like, fast fashion and like disposable stuff necessarily but when it comes to like my general tastes I do like things that are trendy I mean what can I say I feel like there's such a negative connotation around people that like things that are trendy or they're deemed like basic or something like that but I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing to like things that other people like just because there has to be a reason why so many people like it if like the masses are into it it's probably because it's really nice i guess um i guess like the negative connotation like when it comes to say fashion for example probably revolves around like fast fashion and buying kind of disposable clothing that just is only built to last like one or two wears just to get it for an Instagram picture and then just throw it out, uh, which I personally don't support that. I do tend to buy clothes that are a little bit more higher quality. Um, and I've even had clothing from when I was in like high school. So yeah, I don't know, but it also helps because I, I've basically like stayed the same size since I was high school, oddly enough. I mean, actually, no, I definitely can't fit the things in high school anymore but like some things like sweatpants and sweaters and hoodies and stuff and like basic t-shirts I can still fit them from high school maybe not pants definitely not pants but like some things I tend to like to buy higher quality stuff so I don't know but anyways I digress we were talking about homes weren't we <laughs> but yeah no I, I definitely like trendy stuff so for save files like I can never stay on one type of house style long enough to make a cohesive save file because every time I'm like on my 20th build I'm like my build style has completely changed from the first build I did so then I feel like the save file would be all like mishmashed of random stuff which I just don't know if I'd be happy with that but I will say maybe that's realistic because it's not like an entire neighborhood is going to have the exact same house because that's not realistic because houses are always built in, you know, different decades and whatever. But yeah, for this particular house, I wanted a house that fit in with this neighborhood. So I'm building this in Newcrest and I actually have like a neighborhood surrounding this house where everything kind of goes together. So the house next to this one is also like a similar like black and white looking modern home and i'll link the video down below it's one of my favorite builds i've also ever done i built it like one year ago exactly so these builds were done a year apart the neighbor home and this home and i feel like they go together really nicely so i have like a little mini neighborhood in newcrest i'll link all of the videos down below for this little mini neighborhood you might have been able to kind of spot them when i was doing the exterior and kind of seeing them in the background but i think all of these homes go together so i think going forward for my save file or my attempt at a save file i've been attempting a save file for literally two years i am <laughs> so sorry you guys you guys are probably so annoyed at me because i always say i'm gonna do a save file but i'm i'm just always working on it but i can't like stay focused long enough to do like one neighborhood at a time i don't know what's wrong with me i just <laughs> i just feel like i have to just build whatever i feel like you know i can't force myself so anyways uh yeah i'm gonna just do it by a little neighborhood from now on I think and then just tackle it slowly and then I'll just like link the videos um, down below for like which houses go together so if you want to like update your new crest slowly like I am then you can follow along for that um, but yeah anyways as you can see we are done with the exterior the exterior I think is beautiful I would personally live in this home if the exterior looked like it does I just love it I love the curvature of the roof I love the dimension I like the black and white I just I really love it the backyard's really nice too it's very functional little mini pool fire pit swing set little breakfast nook you really have everything that you need now for the interior the interior is very interesting because the downstairs floor plan is quite large and I wanted to kind of floor plan it out a little bit more than usual. Um, I usually tend to do open concept, which don't get me wrong, this still is open concept, but I did add a couple more kind of nooks and crannies and hallways and more rooms than usual, I would say. I have an entranceway with a 
laundry room, which I will do later. This is kind of the open concept dining, kitchen, and living room, so that's really nice. And then we also have a teen bedroom down here and also the primary bedroom for the parents down here as well. So we have two bedrooms down here and we have three bathrooms down here uh, because every bedroom gets an ensuite down here. And then upstairs we have two more bedrooms, one bathroom, and then a kid's living room upstairs. So this is definitely very much a family-oriented home. I believe you can fit uh, two parents, one teen, two kids, and one toddler. So you can fit a family of six in here. So pretty decent in my opinion. And the upstairs is basically only for kids. So I've been really into having like a dedicated kids area in my builds just because I don't want to put kid stuff in the nice bougie living room, okay? Like, I want all the kids toys and all the kids clutter, like, you know, in its own room where you can not look at it if you don't want to. I don't want it to ruin the aesthetic of my nice neutral kitchen and living room. So, um, I know maybe that's not realistic. Actually, no, it probably is, right? Does anybody in the comments, let me know if you have kids and do you have like a separate room for them to like play in? Like, do you have the toys and stuff in the family room and then the living room is like nice and presentable? Let me know how that kind of dynamic works because when I grew up, we had like a formal living room that nobody ever sat in and there was no TV in there. And then we also had a family room which had, you know, a little bit more clutter and like DVDs and like, you know, the Xbox and whatever. Um, and then most of my toys were like in my own room. So actually I didn't have like a playroom necessarily, but let me know how you guys do it. And if it is realistic that I would have like the kid stuff locked away somewhere else but you'll see it at the very end I'm really excited for you to see it but I have like a kids whole living room theater upstairs and there's no need for the parents to go upstairs necessarily because like the parents room is downstairs so really like that having a nice area for them I also really love this kitchen I love the dark richness of the cabinetry it just looks like it has a lot of storage a lot of counter space it just is like a dream and I just like the overall like darker chocolatey rich like with the black accent wall like it just feels very like rich and homey and cozy um with these like darker colors i've been really into like more moody like dark accent walls and stuff i don't really know how because you guys know i'm obsessed with like bright white color schemes but lately i've been into like the darks it just it is what it is so you'll see the parent bedroom is also like really moody and dark too which i love it's one of my favorite rooms i've ever done i think i'm gonna have to do like another room build just dedicated to that bedroom because it is quite nice but here while we do the kind of laundry room which i've never done in a build before so you know bask in the glory of this rare laundry room that i've i never include a laundry room in my builds like ever so I don't know why I did it here, but here we are. But while we're watching the laundry room, I figured um, this might be the last video that I ever do in 2022 um, in terms of like long form speed build video. So I thought I'd take this chance to kind of catch up with you guys and recap the year and just like take this time to thank you guys for all of your support this year. Um, it was a really big year for me and for us. I quit my job in March, April this year, so that was a very big change obviously and kind of a surprise I guess. I was not intending to quit my finance job. If you guys don't know, I worked in finance, uh, investment management, and I was like a senior analyst and I, I, I quit. <laughs> so that I still can't believe happened, but obviously it was thanks to you guys and your support and you know, your support gave me the confidence to know that I could do it and I could quit my job and my career and, you know, be on YouTube and have a career here and be okay. So I really thank you guys for always, you know, showing up, watching my videos, hanging out with me, comment, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. I couldn't have, you know, gotten through this year without you and I couldn't have made that decision without you guys either um, so I just want to thank you guys for that that was like a really big change something that I again didn't anticipate I knew I wanted to quit that's the thing is when you have a side business you you always dream of quitting your day job in order to pursue your side business full-time but you never know exactly when the right time to do it is and I think the problem is 
And what I've realized over this year is like there is no right time to do it because no matter what you do, it's going to be a big change. Like if you quit your job, like there goes like the majority of your income to survive. You know what I mean? Like there's never going to be a good time to do it. There's never going to be a good time to just slash a big chunk of your livelihood. So I think I know like some people have DM'd me and stuff about, you know, quitting your day job and pursuing your side hustle and all that stuff and I think the the main thing is there, there's never going to be the perfect time to do it and you just have to you just have to I think it's about living your life without regrets and just looking back and saying if I don't quit and I stay at this mundane office job or what have you and I don't pursue this side business full time are you going to regret it are you going to regret it so because the thing is, if your side business doesn't work out, you can always go back to a regular job. So, yeah, you just have to think about what are you going to regret more? So, I, I don't know. Maybe that resonates with some people. Maybe it doesn't. But, yeah, I will say it has been a really difficult year on top of that. I think working in social media and just being your own boss is not as amazing as everyone says it is. Um, there's obviously huge pros, but there's also a lot of cons as well. So I think now that I've done both, I can see both sides of it and I don't necessarily like one more than the other. So if anyone is looking at social media people and thinking they have it so easy, I would say it depends on the person. Like some of the lifestyle people probably have it a lot easier, but if you're in like gaming industry or something like that I don't know I feel like it could go both ways however I really liked my office job so I feel like if you have like a job that you really liked like my office environment was awesome and generous and fun and like we partied and stuff I feel like it depends on the job so definitely can't speak for everyone there um, but anyways that was a very long tangent about that if you guys want me to talk about it more in a future video and just like go into more depth about you know my life as a you know influencer gaming person versus like my office job and stuff you can let me know and I can talk about it a little bit more if you have any questions or anything like that I will be happy to talk about that but here you can see I am doing the teen bedroom so this is a teen bedroom they have their own bathroom I kind of skimmed through the bathrooms really quickly just because they're just like regular modern renovated looking bathrooms I yeah I didn't really do anything special <laughs> the bathrooms always kind of look the same so I just like skip through them they're nothing that exciting but I used a lot of pastel pop kit in this bedroom I feel like lately I've been very biased towards newer items like items that have come out and have been released more recently so pastel pop kit everyday clutter kit and high school years have been like my go-to's when it comes to furnishing kids rooms or teen rooms they're just so good. Like, you really can't fault them. I even, like, I didn't think that I would like the pastel pop kit that much, but, like, it's coming in handy. Like, if you're someone who likes high school years and you like those colorful pastel, you know, nice, cute items, like, you're gonna like the pastel pop kit as well. I think it's a great combination to have. And, yeah, I've just been, I, I don't think I can make a kid's room or a teen room without using high school years or pastel pop, so... Just love it. I also, the Everyday Clutter Kit is just also my go-to lately. Everything is just, like, it's just so easy. I, I say it every time, but it's just so easy. You don't have to think about it, and you just place all that clutter, and all of a sudden, your build looks realistic and fun, and you have personality in your room. So I definitely recommend getting one or both of those new kits or the High Squeezers Expansion Pack uh, for Christmas or Boxing Day or something. I'm sure there's going to be a sale for Boxing Day, so hopefully you guys can grab some new expansion packs for your game coming up. Um, but speaking of that, also a cool kind of like accomplishment this year was I did get sponsored by EA and Logitech. So I don't know if you guys saw that video earlier back in September, but Logitech and EA sent me the entire Logitech G Aurora collection, like everything, like all the mouse pads, all the keyboards. They sent me two keyboards too, which was weird, but yep, yeah, two, not complaining. <laughs> and I got the mouse, the headphones, you know, the carrying case, all that stuff. It was so cool. Like as a gamer, like it's your dream to get recognize or sent something from like an actual gaming brand like logitech so like the fact that like logitech 
knows who I am is like wild to me, especially as like a woman in gaming. I'm very proud of that and very excited and I actually do really love the products. Like I was going to, what's really weird is before that sponsorship email came, I was about to like figure out a way that I could pitch myself to Logitech in order to like have them send me the collection basically or like even just send me the headset something and it was really weird because I was like manifesting it in my head I was like thinking of ways of how I can pitch myself and all that stuff and literally the next day I kid you not I got an email saying that they want to send me the whole collection and sponsor a video so like it's really weird you guys but I really do think that like manifestation and just like good vibes and like being on a good wavelength and really thinking things into existence or just like planning for things like plan for the best and like things will happen to you I don't know it's just really weird like I feel like that can't be a coincidence you know because like it literally happened like the next day but yeah that's a that's a lesson for you all if you haven't tried you know the art of manifestation I mean you don't have to call it manifestation because I know that sounds like a little bit gimmicky but I think if you just like put yourself in the right wavelength for things those positive things tend to happen to you um, at least it it always has in my experience but yeah I don't know let me know your thoughts on that if you like believe in positive vibes and stuff or not or if you think that it was just a happy coincidence let me know or if you have any tips on like how to attract good vibes um, I'd love to hear that as well, um, but you can see we are upstairs now So the downstairs that dark moody bedroom was for the parents or parent and I really love that room My goal for that room was to use the pastel pop kit side tables those cool tiled side tables Use them in a way that wasn't pastel -y. So can you use them in like a modern dark gloomy setting or not gloomy just moody setting and I feel like I accomplished that in that downstairs room so I'm gonna do another kind of like YouTube short video on how to use the pastel pop kit not in a bright pink way um, so just kind of using the items in a non-conventional more modern sleek way so look out for that I'm still kind of brainstorming stuff for that but yeah here you can see we are up in the kids bedroom so this is a really big bedroom so I figured we could have two kids sharing it so obviously I use the high school years uh, beds and also the high school years divider you guys I feel like I have been sleeping on this item so I'm just gonna point it out because I feel like other people may be sleeping on it as well this high school years divider it's so cute it has like little Polaroid pictures attached to like the branches and the divider also there's little like fairy lights on the divider it's just a really beautiful pretty item that I feel like kind of gets glossed by in the catalog so like I have to specifically look for that item because it doesn't show up in the catalog in an obvious way so just have that item in the back of your mind if you ever want to have like a little divider for like if you're trying to divide the room for two kids or you want like a dressing room or you want to you know put it behind your desk or something to separate your closet I don't know whatever it is but keep that item in the back of your mind because it is a very good item and I always forget about it because it's not obvious which brings me to my next point of we need better item categorization in the sims 4 because at this point it's like exhausting to build sometimes I'm not gonna lie like I will default to the items that are just obviously at the top of the catalog because I cannot be bothered to scroll through ages and years in a phone book of catalog items just to find something because it's just too difficult now and yeah it's because I have all the packs too which obviously is something I shouldn't be complaining about but I feel like they need to improve the user experience a little bit better so I am hoping that this year comes with a free update of better item categorization for example when I'm in the kitchen section of the catalog I do not want to see anything from journey to batu or bowling okay <laughs> like I feel like that should be very obvious do not show me bowling stuff when I'm trying to look for kitchen clutter it's just I don't know it's not a lot to ask for I think but I don't know well maybe it is I don't want to be a needy person too I'm not complaining you guys I'm not complaining I'm not a complainer okay don't get it twisted it's just a kind suggestion that's all that is all um but what else is there anything else I have to update you on this year um I don't know like I feel like I I apart from like YouTube and stuff I did like really go on like my fitness journey this year which is 
I guess like a big thing for me, not like a weight loss journey per se, more so just like I, for the entirety of the pandemic for two years, I didn't go to the gym once for two and a half years. I stayed in my, on my desk and I I probably spent like at least 80% of the pandemic in a chair. No joke, like streaming, you know, browsing the internet, browsing Uber Eats, like whatever it is. So um, this year I've been going to the gym ever since I, I quit my job and I had more time. I've been going to the gym three to four times a week, which I'm super happy about, super proud. It's just one of those things that like makes your life better because you're happier and you feel like energized and you feel nice and light and you can like go do all your chores for the day after you go to the gym because you just like feel better. I don't know, it endorphins and stuff. You guys know all that stuff, but... Yeah, that's something that I really prioritized this year, which I think is good because um, you have to take care of your health. Health is wealth, Um, especially over the pandemic. You know, it really put into perspective that you have to like be healthy and don't take your health for granted. So I've been really prioritizing um, the gym and just, you know, health in general. So that's something that I'm really proud of. Obviously, it's not related to YouTube, but yeah, I will say that I do hope in the new year that I upload some more videos. I feel like this year I kind of took like a mental decompression because I was so, I want to say like overworked over the past two years because I was working a really stressful job and then also doing YouTube at the same time. So then when I quit my job, I kind of just like backed off a bit. Obviously I was still present, um, but you know, I, I want to upload more. So hopefully Uh, I'll do more videos in 2023 and I hope you guys will be along for the ride and hold me accountable and stuff like that. Also, side note, if you guys have any goals or things that you want to work on in 2023 or you want to reflect on what your biggest accomplishment was for 2022, I would absolutely love to hear in the comment section. I would love to hold each other accountable and congratulate you on your accomplishments as well because I do genuinely, like, I'm interested in your guys' lives, so please do share, and I love to see that everyone is thriving, and it makes me so happy when I see that everyone is, you know, making moves and doing cool things, Um, especially in my Twitch chat, a lot of you guys have shared your news about, you know, buying a house, or getting a new job, um, or, like, graduating and getting your degree, and all these cool things, so I really do like hearing about it, I think it's so fun, it's like hearing good news from, like, friends, you know, If it's an accomplishment for you, it's an accomplishment for the whole group. So I love to have a community that is thriving and doing well. So yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear it because it makes me happy. Um, But here you can see I am doing the upstairs, like, what is this? The kids area, like I said. So it's like a kids theater area. So everything is dark with the dark walls. So good theater movie lighting. We have the toddler string lights. So cool. I also have a little popcorn maker station in the corner and a big theater, a huge fluffy rug because sometimes you don't want to sit on the couch when you're watching a movie. You just want to lay on the floor right? If I had a rug like that and I was a kid, I would lay on the floor. Um, We have beanbag chairs, we have pillows, we have a little don't touch the llama, what is it? Don't wake the llama game. So we can play games and it's just like a nice place because we have like one, two, three, four kids. So imagine you have like three other siblings and you're just like hanging out out here as you're growing up and I don't know, it just seems so much fun. So I really, really love this area up here and I think it's a good use of space honestly for this upstairs area obviously if you wanted to add another um, bedroom up here I'm sure you could uh, rig up the floor plan a little bit more so you have more space but I thought this would be a nice area for the kids so like they can watch a movie up here while the parents can still you know entertain downstairs or something like that so really love that So as we're nearing the end of the video, I just want to quickly thank HiRise again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description to download HiRise today. And if you see me, feel free to add me as a friend on there. My username is just Dr. Ashley, all one word. So I'd love to be friends with you on the app. But yeah, the build is basically complete. I don't know if I recapped everything that I wanted to say in 2022 or not. I guess I'll have to make another video and kind of reflect on things that I wanted to do that I didn't do because I feel like there was a lot of that as well. Um, But I don't know, it doesn't really matter because I do just wanna, again, thank you guys so much for an amazing 2022 year and for, 
you know, supporting me and being there for me throughout this really big pivotal year of my life. I cannot thank you guys enough because truly and literally, indisputably, you have changed my life. You guys have changed the course of my life. I wouldn't be here sitting in front of my computer doing this full time for a living if it weren't for you guys. So it is absolutely wild that this has happened and I cannot thank you guys enough. I hope you guys know how truly grateful I am for you guys. Please let me know if you um, made it to the end of the video as always so I can thank you guys personally and don't forget to let me know what you accomplished this year and what you guys want to accomplish next year I do really want to know what your goals are and support you guys through them so yeah with that being said um, if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like it it would really help me out and leave a comment down below and also let me know how close I got my recreation to the original photo rate my recreation skills out of 10 also if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so so much happy new year and i'll see you guys in my next video next year bye everybody